All right, guys, what we're going to do here is give you a nice little review on uh, creating frames, what they look like, and how you use them. What you see in front of you right now is a frame site. Basically, you see something usually on the left and something on the right, and when you press, for instance, one of the menu items on the left, something shoots over on the right-hand side. Let's do another one. Okay, so what you don't realize when you see a frame site is that it's not just one page. It actually, the one you're looking at here, is at least three pages and probably more. There's usually this thing right here on the left-hand side, a menu, which is a separate HTML page. Then this page that you see the, the speed skater on, that's a separate page. And then there's the really important one, which is like the master page, which basically glues together your frames that says, hey, on the left-hand side is a frame, and on the right-hand side is a frame, and I'll stick them together. And what we're going to do right now is learn how to program them in first page. Okay, let's start off with some frame basics. First of all, when you do a frame page, the body is going to, all right, that gets replaced by, and watch where I'm going up here, see all these little tabs, you're going to click on the one that says frame. And basically what happens is that we use now a frame set. And that tells us the setup of the frames. And there's two words that are used a lot. There's one called columns, which means they're going to be uh, created sideways. Uh, so we can make up two numbers here. All right. Now that creates the setup, but it doesn't actually create the, the actual frames. So you have to use this button right here to create frames. And I'm pressing two of them because I've got 20%, 80%, which means there's two frames. Then you can, like you should always, save it, put it somewhere on your hard drive. All right, so I'll just work my way. Now, obviously, this is different than school. I'm doing it on my uh, home computer, and I'll just put it right there and call it a test. And then when you view it, you'll see two sides. You can change the word calls to rows, and when you look at that one, it looks that way. Okay. Now, you can do lots of complicated ones, too. You can do these things where you embed one frame inside another, press frame set, and what you can do here is mix and match. And sometimes, you know, it's a little bit of trial and error to try to get it to look like the way you want. But let's see what we can come up here with. All right, so you got frame set 50-50. Now, if you look at it right now, just for fun, I, I'm going to change it in a second. Let's see what that looks like. Looks kind of weird. Why don't we move these guys that seem to be lonesome inside of here? See what that looks like. Oh, so now the top part has two frames. Okay, I'm starting to get this. How about we put an actual word frame down here? All right, so this one belongs to the inside frame and that one to the outside frame. It's kind of neat. Let's try the reverse. Why don't we move this one up to the top up here? All right, so all I'm doing is experimenting and seeing what kind of combinations I can. Oh, I like that one. Actually, that one's the one that's going to be on the final exam. So let's see what I just did there. I created a frame set of two rows. That's the top row, and this is the bottom row. And then along the top, I had one frame. Now the second row, I cut it up into two columns and then I have to obviously have to have two words there for frame. So that's kind of neat. All right? Remember that one. But this is just theory. Let's actually do a real example now. All right? So I'm going to uh, close this one. And I guess I can save it and we'll start a new one. Okay? Now, remember what I told you, when you create a frame, it's really not just one page. It's a bunch of pages. So what I'm going to do right now is do the separate little pages that make up our entire frame site. So we're going to have like a main page, and I'll just type in the word main there. And you got to save this. Now this one you have to be more formal. So I already made a folder called frame site first page, and I'm going to save main in there. Then I'm going to create a new page. And uh, this one will be like uh, page one, which would have stuff, pictures, whatever. And again, you got to save it. So you're making all the bits and pieces of your frame site. Keep going. And just do one more page here. Actually, it's going to be a little bit more than one more page, but those are the main ones that we're going to worry about. And you got to realize, if you looked at my example when I started off today, I had a menu. 
So I gotta make like a menu page. So we'll do a main menu page. This one here, we're gonna have to put in a couple of BRs. And then we're gonna have like choices main page one and page two. And we'll put some BRs there. We'll put a BR there. Then I could go down and there. Okay, and then this one's gonna be called menu. Okay. Now we need the glue. The glue is the tricky new stuff that I started to teach you. Okay. See those pages are easy. The glue is where you rub out the body and you do this new thing called frames. You press this. Alright, and we're gonna do a simple frame. So we'll say columns equals 20%. Uh, yeah, 80% is good. Alright, watch your quotes, watch your percents. Inside of here, we're gonna need two of these. We need two of them because we've cut our frames up into two sections. Alright, and we're gonna save this. This one we'll save as index. It's usually the master one. Uh, you can call it master two if you actually if you, if you want to. Now I noticed that page one, that one's page two, I should have saved that one as page two. So let me re-save that as page two. Okay, so now we got a page one, page two, your menu, your main, and an index. Let's preview. Uh-oh. Nothing's there. We've got stuff on the left, we've got stuff on the right, but there's nothing there. So here's some new stuff. First one, SRC, that's the source. You gotta say, hey, here's what's supposed to be on the left hand side, and it's supposed to be the menu. What's supposed to be on the right hand side? Well, when I'm starting this web page off, I want uh, the main page to show up. Let's save that and see if we get something to show up now. Great. So there's our menu, not too fancy. I mean, obviously you would make it fancier if you did it uh, and then main on the left-hand side. Now what we want eventually to do now is make these things come alive so that when you press them, they shoot over to the uh, right-hand side. So we don't have to touch this. We're basically done with this. Don't have to touch it again. I'll show you one little thing you'll add later on, but um, we have to add these links here. Okay. Now, actually, when you add the links, how is the computer going to know where to, to shoot over? Well, let's just put them in for now and we'll take our chances. Let me, let me show you this one right here. I'm going to add a link right there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to standard and I'm going to press a chain link. And I'm going to put down, when I press page 1, I want to go to page1.html. Now you grab that little piece and you put it in between. And then you save. Okay, so I'm getting excited. This is going to be good. Let's see what happens. So preview. There it is. It's a link. Great. So I'm going to press this right now, and hopefully the word page one shows up over here on the right-hand side. Uh-oh. It did go to page two, I mean. Let's try that again. How come it went over there? All right, we got a little problem. There's page one, and I press it. It doesn't go where it's supposed to go. Also, in my menu here, uh, I guess the way I wrote it, page one right here, and there's page two. We've got the links a little bit mixed up, but the basic idea is that's where they go. All right. Now, if we check where everything is, I'm just going to do a save all for a second. There's page two, there's page one. Okay. But that's not the major problem. The problem is that they're not going to the right hand side. So, what we have to do right here is we have to add a couple of things. You have to add a name, okay? So the actual left-hand side doesn't need a name. All right, now if you want to put it in, you can call it left. But this one definitely needs a name. This is the right-hand side, so we're going to call it right. All right, now the reason we're going to do that is the following. So let's go back to our menu, okay? And doesn't matter what link we add, we'll fix this one up. What we're going to do is we're going to add the word target equals right. Because what you want to happen when you press those is to have it shoot over to the right hand side. So let's do a little save again of everything. 
we'll preview it. Now when you press this, notice how it shoots over here. Now I've got my links mixed up. I probably wrote one of the words down wrong, but it shoots over to the right hand side. That's the most important thing. Let's, let's see if we can finish these off. Main, I want it to go to the main obviously, so I'll click on that. All right, and if you press the file folder button, if you press main, it'll get you to the right spot. But you always have to grab this word and drag it in the middle. All right, let's do another save all. And let's check it out again. All right, so now there's the main. So let's press this one, it shoots over there. Press main. Oh, doesn't shoot to the right spot. Remember, you have to now add that special new thing called target equals and then you type in the name that I gave it. Okay, let's try it again. Almost done. Alright, so we press this, press that, shoots over to me. Goes back to that. Let's finish off the last one. Press the chain link. Press here. This should go to page two. Okay. Press OK. Grab this word right here, drag it in the middle, do another save, and actually a save all if you want. Let's preview it so that now they're all links. Okay, oh, again, all right, and this is a common mistake. You gotta keep remembering, you gotta have to add that target. All right, so that's the only tricky part. You gotta remember to put that in. We'll do another save all check it out okay so now we got all the links page two right main menu this one says page two also and let's let's take a look at why it says page two this one here page one let's do a save again all right so look at it thinks it's page two I'm gonna save it as page one all right Another save all. All right, so that goes to page one. Yes, now it's correct. That goes to page two, and that goes to main. And that is a complete frame website using pure HTML. So let's recap. When you make a frame using pure HTML or anything, you do all the bits and pieces first. So you make all your separate little pages Those are all separate pages. The only weird part is this new thing called the index, which is like the glue page. This is the part that puts everything together. All right, so that puts in all your different bits and pieces. It says this guy goes on the left, this guy goes on the right, and it gives it a name. And that's the only part that I on purpose did about four times in a row. I kept forgetting it. You have to put in the target. And then you've got your complete website. Now what I'm going to do in part two of these videos is show you how to do the same thing in Dreamweaver because I know you like doing it that way too, but you have to understand the, the sort of like the nitty gritty stuff here to appreciate what's going on behind the scenes.